It's Brenda. We're here with another Stash Buster episode. I believe it is episode 11. Um, sorry, my hair is quite wet. I just got out of the shower. And if you hear noise, sorry, that's the laundry going. I had to, you know, multitask today, get a bunch done. Um, I didn't get a whole lot done since I last uh, message, I last videoed with you guys, but that's okay. Um, sorry, just looking around to see what I have around me and I can show you. Um, but. I did get some done, so I figured I'm going to try to keep these regular as much as I can, even if they're on the shorter side, hopefully that's okay with you guys. So I guess I'll show you show you my works in progress. Um, first, I did get uh, something finished, I actually got two, but I only get to show you one. Um, in my Silver Shed USA bag from um, this is the TARDIS, with my favorite doctor who is David Tennant, hopefully you can see that. Uh, <laughs> the 10th Doctor. I have my Fair Isle stocking that I'm working on. And I didn't do a whole lot. You see, I left the marker here so you can see where I did get. So I got from here to here, which isn't too bad. Um, I might put this down for a while so you guys may not see it for a little bit. This is it so far. Um, to get this much done in January is a godsend for me <laughs> because I never thought I would actually be able to do Fair Isle anyways. Um, but I might put it down for a while, I don't know, for some other projects that I'm working on. But it's still fun and relaxing, it's just I really need brain power to focus on that and lately I've been lacking. Um, <laughs> The easier stuff is kind of been what I've been focusing on, just nothing with too much of a design or a lacy panel to it. And this is the lacy shawl that I've been working on, and you'll see where my brain power has dropped off. <laughs> and where the stitch marker is right here is where I was last time, so everything above it down the side and down this side is what I have done. So I've gotten about two inches done from here to here, which isn't bad. And it's so super soft and oh, so squishy, which I love. Um, the color on this one, those are all scraps, like I was saying, I'm still gonna use some scraps. These are Millen's. Doesn't really have a color way to it, but it's like a brown with a little bit of silver glint to it, which I love silver. Um, and that's in my Silver Shed USA bag with the winter scene with the deer wearing their little scarves and um, of course the handles. And that's really fun to work on too and it doesn't take quite as much of my focus as um, uh, the Fair Isle stocking does, but it, it still does kind of take a little bit of focus too much for me right at this moment. And then the last um, work in progress that I have going on right now is in my small um, Silver Shed USA bag, as you can see. <clears throat> uh, constant here. Um, I really do love Silver Shed USA bags. They're on Etsy. And Anne, she's the owner. She's amazing. Um, her bags are high quality and they're fantastic. Last time I had the toe done on one sock and up to this stitch marker here. These are the Grand Canyon socks. And yes, it is inside out, so you're not going to see the color and the patterning perfect right now. Um, but this is where I was last time on this sock. In the other sock, I only had to the toe, the white part of the toe, so you could see where I am. I have a few more rows on this one, and it'll be ready for the heel. This one's ready for its heel. And if I can get these done, and... Um, by the end of January, I'll have two pairs of socks in the month of January, which would be awesome. Like I said before, I'm going to try for the 12th pair for the year. Um, if I can get more than one done in a month, that would be fantastic, because then the times where I have, I can't focus on anything, or I'm just not in the mood to do anything, or I'm just too sick to do anything, I can take that off and not feel so bad about trying to keep up with my goals. What you do to myself? <laughs> okay, that's it for all the works in progress. Like I said, um, I did finish, I did start and finish out of, let me see, 
teal out of uh, this teal color um, I finished a necktie um, for my daughter's friends puppy they got a tiny little Rottweiler chow mix and he's adorable um, his name's Dante so I wanted to make him a little tie um, unfortunately it's still a little bit too big for him but that's okay he'll grow into it because puppies grow fast um, if you wanted to see a picture of him he is on my Instagram so you can check out my Instagram feed because um, we actually went to the park with him the other day, which was super fun. We took my sister's pup when he was 15 to go meet a little tiny um, eight-week-old puppy. But it was adorable. They got along great. Um, yeah, I have a lot of projects that I want to start. I'm just not sure exactly which direction I want to go just yet and what I want to cast on. But I have some people that will tag me either on Instagram or um, private message me on any of the social media. They're all linked below. If they see something neat that um, they might want to see me create or to see if I can create or just to tag me because they think it's neat and it's something I would like, I'm up for that. You're welcome to do that. I don't mind. Um, yeah. And I guess for the big reveal, <laughs> sorry about playing with your hair, it's just really bothering me being wet. Um, I was talking to you last time about making Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen him. Um, but not complete. So I tried making this pattern because the ones that i seen out there really didn't remind me of Hobbs, you know, that I grew up with and everything and I wanted to make it as close to that as possible because I gave my daughter all my books of, you know, Calvin and Hobbes when I was younger. And he was meant to be, to remain free, so I'm not going to sell my pattern, although I do have it scribbled up. <laughs> it's not, I didn't make anything digital yet. Um, and I think I could probably tweak it and make it a little bit better, but to start, I think this is pretty good. Um, he came out a lot bigger than what I thought. I told you guys, I was thinking, you know, 21 inches. I haven't measured him, but I'm pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, but here he is, and I'm not going to be able to get him completely in the frame. Um, I gave him a button eyes and some felt stripes here on his head and on the back of his head. That's all. That's not yarn. Um, his muzzle, which I love, and I embroidered his little mouth. I gave him the cat ears and, of course, his signature red scarf, which I love. Um, and he came out so adorable. Oh, I just keep going here. <laughs> and his tail, which you could put a little curve in it if you want to. And I didn't add wire. I asked my daughter if she wanted wire, so you could pose him, and she said no. So he's just stuffed with fiber fill, and I think he came out super adorable. Like you can see, let's see. You can see he's he's pretty good size. <laughs> um, but yeah, she loves him, and that's all that matters. It was supposed to be for her birthday. I thought it would take me, honestly, guys, I thought it would take me until March to get this pattern figured out, but he just went. I mean, he just came together, and I'm really happy with him. And don't mind all the fuzzies he's got on him, because my daughter's already been sleeping with him. Yes, you heard. I broke. She squeed, and I couldn't help it. I had to. <laughs> I had to give him to her early. Um, and I let her stuff him to her liking because she's the one who's going to be cuddling him so you know but I think he came out super super cute I'd love to know your guys comments um, like I said if I do write it up it will be a free pattern because that's how Calvin and Hobbes was meant they were meant to be free so you know in honor of their creator that is the only way it will be but I'm not gonna rush on getting it up because like I said it's not a major focus of mine right now um, I do have a lot more, but I really do love how he came out. He's so squishy. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I'm going to sit here and hug him the whole time. Um, so we'll get down to numbers. Um, my whole thing before, um, in the beginning, is keeping track of how much of my yarn I use to make sure that no matter what, I'm using more than what I bring in. And I'm hopefully using more and not bringing in. Um, gifts don't count. Um, they'll be added in on a side note. Um, so if I'm gifted anything, that's fine because I'll put them in later or if I go above and beyond. But anything I'm bringing in, I want to make sure I'm 
not buying for myself more than what I'm trying to use. Um, so my starting weight, again, to reiterate, was 24,467 grams of yarn. I have, um, that's not including my mercerized cotton or my, like my tatting threads, because I have a huge bin of that, and it, you use so little of it, it is really hard to weigh out what you use, even if you use a really good scale like I've got. Um, but anyway, so far with the two hats that I had made for myself, the purple socks that I have finished, the tie for Dante the Little Puppy, and Hobbs. I have used 575 grams of yarn. The uh, Hobbs took 295 grams, and the tie for Dante took 36 grams. So 575 grams of yarn so far of completed projects. Now it's not including the shawl that I've got on the works, the, the um, socks I have on, and it doesn't include um, the Fair Isle stocking because I actually didn't weigh them into the total because I figured I'm going to use pretty much a lot of those. Um, but I'm going to add them in later once they're done. Um, because I do have the starting weights of them, I just didn't tally them in because I just figured if it didn't work, then I'd just throw the whole thing back in. Yeah. <laughs> you see how much faith I had in myself for Pharaoh. But I think that's pretty good. 575 grams, I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't think that I actually use a whole lot of yarn when I create, but I'm hoping to get the old stash down so I can bring new stuff in on my own. <laughs> And some of you were curious and private messaged me about how I store my scrap yarn. Um, I got one of these huge Rubbermaid, is it Rubbermaid or Sterlite? This is Sterlite. I have one of these huge, huge Sterlite things. Um, and I just kind of keep them all together because I have them weighed out. I had to show you. It is huge. It's going to take up the whole screen there. But you can see all my scrap yarn is in there. Um, that is all my worsted weight scrap yarn. I try to keep them separate by the worsted, the Aran, the bulky uh, sock yarn. And I don't have a whole lot of sock yarn, so I'm going to have to make some purchases on that so I can complete my goal for this year. Um, and let's see. And it doesn't matter, I might just get the cheap ones from like Joann's or Hobby Lobby because their sock yarn is like, I think it's $5 a skein and I only really need one skein to make a pair of socks, but a solid color, if I had a solid color that'll make me go a little bit further to go with it because then I can use it for the toes and heels and cuffs. Um, but either way. Because I only have, right now, the only solid I have is the white. Um, and that one's actually depleting pretty quickly. Uh, yeah. But, I do, I do use those. The Hobby, the Hobby Lobby brand and the Joann's, um, they have um, a nylon mix in it. And the nylon's what actually helps the sock hold their attention if anyone's interested. But, and it holds their shape and everything. But yeah, I believe that is... All I actually have to show you guys this round, um, yeah, just look around, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, like I said, if you want to see some pictures of some of this stuff, uh, check out my Instagram. Um, I'm going to have, I'll have pictures of my finished projects up there, so if I have to give them away or whatever, I have a better chance of, well, you have a better chance of seeing them on Instagram than not getting to see them at all because of the fact that sometimes I have to give them away before I get a chance to do the videos so and I don't have this picture saved unfortunately just on my Instagram and I'm not sure how to pull it off of Instagram to save it to add it here but I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one like I said let me know what you think of Hobbs and everything and I will talk to y'all later have a fantastic day and a fantastic rest of the month. Bye guys.